we were on our way to go and have a holiday at Kariba, which is Kariba's on the Zambezi River. And I felt um, discomfort on this um, side at the back. And so I thought, let me just go to the doctor and get some painkillers so I can go on my holiday and um, I'm sure it will be fine and go away. And the doctor sent me for some test and said, no, you're not going anywhere. You need to go and see a urologist. And we were thinking it was possible kidney stones. And um, when I got to the urologist, um, he put a stent in. I had that in for, I can't remember how many days. And I had to drink three liters of water. They were hoping that it would be, if it was a kidney stone, it would be flushed out. It didn't, um, there was no improvement. And I then was scheduled to go to theater to have an operation. The GP, um, she took some uh, tests and she said, no, there's um, it's something to do with the kidney. So I need to, and she referred me to the specialist, to a urologist, uh, Mr. Samkangi. And then once I was there, that's when he put the stent in, thinking, hoping that I'd be able to flush um, the kidney stone. And when he couldn't get the kidney stone out, whichever way he was doing it, um, they then um, operated. And then what he found was there was um, Bellagia damage just above my, my bladder. So my problem was Bellagia damage, scar tissue with, from Bellagia. Bellagia, it's a parasite that um, lives in water and go into the snails and, it's a, and it actually enters into your skin, finds its way through your skin into your body. I grew up on a farm and we used to always play in the dam, go fishing, play in the rivers. And um, the specialist said that this was probably Bellagia damage from when I was a child. So it's been there a long time. And I was probably about, I'm not sure, 45, 50 years old when this happened. So, I mean, I could have had this damage done years back. So we are in the habit as a family to dose ourselves for Bellagia like once a year um, because of because we're aware of it. And even now, <clears throat> we still go to dams. We still put our hands in the water because that's what we do in Zimbabwe. We have the beautiful weather and the sunshine. And I think most kids always play in dams and rivers, but we we know that we are exposed to Bellagia. I would say if people are more made aware of it and they've got access to the medication because it's not necessarily that you're going to change your lifestyle and in the rural area they do their laundry in the rivers, they go and bathe in the rivers because they don't have proper bathrooms in their, their homes. So that's where they go and bathe and they go and, and do their laundry. So I don't think it will change the lifestyles as such but to be aware of it. And I think the main thing is to make it affordable and accessible.